I'm going to do my, my doors, right? But I'm going to show you. I want you to pay attention up here. Uh, now, I did tell you that I wanted a back door that was six inches away from the wall, right? But I already know that this one's six inches away, right? So it's going to be exactly in the same spot. So what if we do mirror? Bam. All right. So then, those of you that did your bedroom doors, <laughs> what if you do that? You put one. Oh, come on. Zero space six. That one has to be six inches away. Oh, so that one I know is already six inches away. Why don't I just mirror it over that way? So when you mirror, you mirror just from the center. Zero wall, right? Door. 24. Space bar. There we go. I mean, I think, I'm pretty sure that was a little bit faster than however long it took you guys. All right, so if you know, especially bedrooms, this is, this is awesome because bedrooms usually share a wall. Both rooms, doors open towards the same wall. Mirror to the other side. All right, don't forget those basic tools that you should have learned in basic. And I know I showed my class mirror. All right, so those still work here. Okay, all right, so that's it. That's that's doors. And that's that's probably the hardest thing. All right, what's the next item? Windows. <clears throat> so windows. That's the next icon. Yours is in a row, right? They're literally like in a row, right? Mine get jumbled because of the projector, but we're going to the right. The next tool, windows. All right, so we're gonna click on Windows. And depending on the template you open, you might have some windows loaded. In this case, if you all started with the architectural template, as I discussed in class, you should have some windows already loaded, okay? But we can do the same process, okay? So let's say, for whatever reason, I'm not gonna use a double hung window. I want a single hung, only the bottom slides up. We do the same process. We're gonna to go to load family, load family. Now, notice, the library remembers the last folder you were in. We're still indoors residential, so we gotta go back. This icon right here, this takes you up one folder. So if you click it once, we're at the door folder, we click it one more time, we're at the library, the main library. In the main library, you scroll all the way to the bottom, the very last folder is Windows. So let's select that. And we're gonna look for single hung. Where are you, single hung? Right at the bottom, window, single hung, like that. Okay, we good, everybody? All right, we're gonna hit open after that. And it's the same process. It's gonna give us a list of predetermined sizes, okay, that we can use, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if we have the sizes we're gonna do. And we're gonna have a total of three different size windows in our uh, project and in our cottage, but I don't see the three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the 24 by 32. It's not the size I want, but that'll, that's, that's probably the closest. And that's it, actually, that's it. Just select that one, 24 by 32 and hit open, okay. All right, and it should load, and it's gonna take a little while. And notice the sign again. Don't, I can't. Host it family. There's a window right there. Part of a wall is above it, part of a wall is below it, right? So the, the window cannot be there if there's no wall. So same thing here, right? All right. Now, um, many families, You'll have this case where I went, I looked in the library, I tried to get the sizes I needed, but they're not there. So in a, in a lot of cases, this is gonna be very common. You're gonna have to do the next process, all right? 
So, like Mr. Valdez said, you're following along right now, but are you gonna remember these steps when you're working on your final project on your own? Probably not. So a good thing would be to take notes, write down the step, because then you're gonna have to, Ay, queda. what did I do? Or try to remember. All right, so anytime, anytime that a family, no matter if it's a door, no matter if it's a window, whatever it is, a table, if the size that you need is not there, depending on the family, we can hopefully modify it, okay? And that's what we're gonna to try to do here. I'm gonna show you how to modify this family to get the three sizes that I wanna use, okay? So, the very first thing you're gonna do is from your property palette, you're gonna press edit type. Edit type, it's right here, okay? And this brings up the type properties dialog box, okay? So now, next, put a little asterisk and put, never override the original, okay? Never override the original. In other words, never make any changes to this because let's say you make changes and it doesn't work, then we can get back at least to the original because you ruined the original, right? So you always want to create a copy. So that's next. What do you think I would use here to create a copy from this list? Duplicate. duplicate. That's right. So we're going to duplicate the original. The original is over there. I'm going to make a copy. The first size we're going to work on and make is 24 by 24. This is going to go in the bathroom. We're going to have a 24 by 24 operable window. Should be sideways, but we're going to go up and down. That's fine. We'll do OK. So now, notice that now, right here, it's changed. The original is still there. If I click this drop down arrow, I should see the original and mine. We're going to make changes to ours, the 24 by 24. And let me show you that they're both there. Inches or feet? Inches. See, they're both there. See? But we're gonna change, we're gonna keep it on ours. We're gonna change ours, okay? The only thing you wanna change here, you're not gonna touch anything, nothing, except for height and width, these two numbers. These are the only numbers you're gonna change. Everything else is gonna stay the default value. The only thing you're gonna change are these two numbers right here, width and height. <clears throat> so it's already two feet wide. I just need to change the height instead of two eight. We're gonna do two feet. So replace the eight with a zero and hit okay. All right, that's how you create a, a family or window size that is not automatically there for you, okay? We're gonna create two more. So we're gonna do the same process. Let's hit edit type. Let's hit duplicate again. Let's do 36 by 36, hit OK, and we're gonna change the sizes. Both of them should be three feet. Three feet and three feet, and hit OK. All right. So, um, what do you wanna change? What, to three feet is the height? <coughs> height and width only. Three feet and three feet for this next window. The last one, three foot by five foot, okay? Three foot by five foot. So we're gonna do it one more time. Edit type, duplicate, and five feet equals 60 inches. So 36 by 60. 36 by 60. Hit okay. And the, last, the only number you're gonna change here is the height. I'm gonna put that to five. All right, any questions on how to create your own? Any questions on the three that you have to have? 24 by 24, 36 by 36, and then 36 by 60, okay? All right, now, the reason I'm taking the time to show you this is you're not always gonna have the family. It's not always gonna be able to load for you, nice and pretty. There's gonna be times where you're gonna have to create your own. Now, the other thing is these two are considered bedrooms, and by law, by code, the bedroom has to have two exits. 
One being the door up here, and the other, of course, a window that is big enough for somebody to escape. Bite code, the minimum size has to be a three foot by five foot window that, that you can open the bottom half and you meet enough space to exit. It can be bigger than that, but by minimum, that's the size. And uh, manual or the, the project that we were following does not have windows that open here and that project does not meet code. So taking the time just to show you because that's exactly what you're gonna have to do. All right, so same, same as the door. If I approach the wall from the outside or if I approach the wall from the inside, there's a big difference, okay? All right, so you always, always wanna place your windows from the outside. Okay, your temporary dimension should be inside of your building, always, when you're placing windows, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it right there. Uh, from the middle of this wall to the middle of the window, I'm gonna use that dimension for now, it's four feet. Okay, I click there, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here in the corner four feet from the center of the wall to the center of the window, okay? Now, I'm gonna add a window over here backwards for you, just on purpose, just to show you the difference, okay? All right, here, the glass or the window is closer to the outside, and here, the glass is closer to the inside, okay? May not look or matter much, but if I go to 3D view, if I go to 3D view, that's correct, right? Water hits up here and it's gonna roll out. This part slides up. In this case, if it rains, water's gonna stay here because it's backwards. This side rolls up. So this part, there's a flashing there, but eventually water will start going in if you place your windows like this in your house, okay? Now, Mr. Reyes, can I fix it? Well, yeah, you can press the space bar, or you can press these two little dots, or arrows, sorry, arrows, to flip it the other way, all right? Will you place a window or a closer? Ah, uh, yes, you're gonna need actually two windows, one next to each other, or right next to each other. I'm just gonna copy it over. There we go. How, how far five as well? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm just gonna kinda estimate like right there. We'll fix them later when we cover dimensions. We'll put them at a specific spot when we cover dimensions, okay? For now, right around there. All right, and then two more windows back here for the room, the same as these two. Let's put one here. They're all the same size, all three foot by five foot. Oh, forgot. I forgot. Sorry, guys, I forgot. All day, all day, or every time I've caught it, I've caught it. Now I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to control Z. We forgot in a very important step, guys when it comes to windows, okay? All right, so when it comes to windows, after you've got your sizes, before you place the window, there's a very important step, okay? So in residential residences and houses, all the windows, the top of the windows, line up with the top of your door, okay? So in houses and residences, it's at six feet, eight inches. The top of the window lines up at six feet, eight inches because your door is at six feet, eight inches. So, so you don't have to go and have to do more work, especially with windows. It's very tricky with windows, right? It's very important to specify where we wanna place, at, at what height we wanna place those windows. So with with the right size selected, so first you gotta select the right size, okay? In this case, 36 by, oh, I have the wrong one. 36 by 
60. Sorry, I have the wrong one there. 36 by 60. I had the wrong windows. Nobody told me. We're going to put the 36 by 60 windows, okay? We're going to first make sure that we have the right size. Then you're going to scroll down on the properties all the way to the bottom. Look, I was going to put them at 8 feet high. That, that's, I mean, I would have to do more work later on. I'd have to move them. So my tip, my advice to you, because I learned this the hard way, come change this before you even put them. So what did I tell you? Six foot eight, six space eight. Remember, use that space bar, six space eight. Enter. Now, I'm guaranteed that my windows are gonna be at the right height that they're supposed to, okay? And now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put them out, out, out here at about four feet, center of the wall to center of the window. Same thing on this side. Or about four feet. Same thing on the other room. About four feet. I mean, about four feet. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna drop one over here. Uh, um, about six feet from the wall, uh, the the restroom wall. This the the second number. Where's this thing? How does this thing work? Where's this? That one from the wall. To the center. I'm not looking at this number, I'm looking at that number over there, about six feet. That's fine. I and mean, we can adjust it later. And then at on the bottom where Brandon was saying we're gonna put one. Yeah, eight feet looks good. Eight feet from the center of the door to the center of the first window, and then I'm gonna put the next one right next to it. There we go. Alright. Now <clears throat> before <clears throat> Before we add the restroom window, do you remember what the size of that restroom was? Ten by seven. Ten by seven. Okay, that's not a very common size for a restroom. Okay, so we're gonna make this into a standard uh, restroom. So we're gonna leave it ten feet wide, but we're gonna change the width. Instead of seven feet. I want five feet only, so that when I replace the tub, it fits there perfectly, okay? So now, this is how you would do something like that after you, because sometimes this is gonna happen. You're gonna design it, you're gonna realize later, oh, this room's too big. If I move the wall only, we're gonna have an error because our door's already there, right? And I know that my door's already six inches away from this wall, right? So, what you do is you hold control, you select the wall, you select the door, both items, okay? Then, you're gonna press move on your ribbon up here, move. Click on the add command. Click anywhere on the white screen, move up, and then just type two, enter, right? There's a difference of two feet between seven and five, last time I checked. I think you're not sure. All right. So now, if we did correctly, we did this room correctly, this should be a five foot by 10 foot room. Yes? All right. Now that I know that that's the right size of my room, I'm going to place a two foot by two foot window right in the middle of this room. Now, if you start the command, I'm going to save the project because I got that. Message. Remember, if you don't save, there's no backup file, no automatic save. You lose it, you lose it. So we're going to select the size. What did I say? 24 by 24, right? Okay. What's the next step? Before I put it, head high. The head high. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom. Look, I was going to put it at five feet high. That's it, correct. So let's click in here. Six, eight. That's gonna ensure that we're putting it on the correct height. All right, so now, if you move your mouse, there you go, slightly between the walls, it'll lock by itself exactly right in the middle. Notice my two numbers, my two numbers are exactly the same. When you when it locks there, it's got, it's got like a little, just click. It automatically finds the middle for you. Just click. 
we have our window where we have to have it. All right. And the last window we're going to add 36 by 36. Check your head height before we put it. Six, eight. And this one, just drop it. I'm not even going to look at the dimensions. Just drop it along that wall. Okay. It'll make sense later. It'll make sense later. We'll adjust it later. Just drop it there. 36 by 36, anywhere on that wall. Okay. Any questions on windows? That's it. That's windows.